Can I tell you something? That will destroy all the messages you have heard from this prosperity deluded preachers across the nations that has brought the church to this infant stage that we are in today. I'll tell you something that will break you right now. That the kingdom of God is not for gain. The kingdom is actually for losses. I can prove it from Genesis to Revelation. If you are not willing to lose it all, you are not for the kingdom. Even Jesus says, if you cannot hate your father, husband, brother, sister, for my sake, you are not fit for my kingdom. They have preached that the kingdom is about gain, it's about prosperity, it's about promotion, it's about increase. Sir, that's a lie. The moment you understand kingdom, that is when you understand that it's a place to lose all. When I got this revelation, I had to prepare myself. I had to die. I had to cry. I knew it. That this is going to cost me everything. Saul became poor. He lost everything he ever had. Peter lost everything. If any man shall lose his life, he shall find it. If anyone that will keep it, he will lose it. That's the sacrifice. That's kingdom. Kingdom is not about prosperity. So, when you wake up to the revelation of the kingdom of God, it's a place of death where you lose your will, where it is all about Jesus. Have I arrived? No. I'm pressing forward every day. Every phase of my life demands a certain level of death to move to the next phase i don't know how long you've been in this phase god is saying if you don't die you will never enter the next phase of my glory there's something that has to die that's it that's a certain level of yieldedness that the holy ghost is asking you for and the moment you yield yourself something is going to be crushed and then an oil will come out of the crushing and then the anointing of the Holy Ghost will be made as a distributed channel through your life. You become a channel of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Our world needs more anointed people than gifted people. We are a bunch of people who can talk scriptures, but they are not anointed. You know where you get the anointing? In the crushing moments of the spirit that's where the anointing is developed the oil comes when you're crushed what's the crushing that aspect of your life that satan continues to use that part of you that satan has used always are you willing to yield it to the holy ghost to kill it so that the holy ghost can feel your spirit can feel that place there's so many parts of us, so many sections in our lives that Satan has continued to control. And God says, if you can yield, if you can come under the fire of my purification, I will glorify myself in the 